Hey guys, welcome back to Frenemies. I'm Ian, and we're back with more Arrow. So, uh, before the break, the small break, um, Emiko betrayed Oliver, as some of us were probably suspicious of, if not right out, kind of knew. Um, I was just suspicious, I didn't know for sure. I was hoping, I was mainly just paranoid that, that she would betray him, that something would come up, because that's just what happens in the show. <laughs> Oliver is now going to try to look for her to stop her. Um, and she's apparently the leader of what I think the Knight Circle is what they're called. I believe. Which is... I... Not really... I just didn't ex expect that. Um, and she also knew about the Queen's Gambit. That, you know, the, that was going to go... You know, it was go that it was sabotaged. And it was going... That Malcolm Merlin was responsible. And she could have saved him, but she didn't because... She, he was, you know, stringing along and kind of leaving her afloat with her and her mom, you know, just not really helping them out, really. Not really sure. I mean, I'm assuming they're going to have to, they're going to have to go against each other like for, like, the finale. I'm assuming she's supposed to be kind of like the, this season's big bad. I'm, I could be wrong. That's just, that's all I have right now because apparently Dante's not the big bad. Like, she's, he's not the, he's not the boss. She is so. Either she's the big bad of the season, which is kind of, seems kind of, it's not technically technically late. She's been here since the beginning of the season, right? Yeah, since the beginning, even though we didn't know it was her. But she's been here since the beginning of the season. So it's just I don't know, like the fact that she's the boss is kind of late. And I don't know. Either, but I, I, anyway, either she's the boss, or the whole, like the the Knight Circle as a whole is the boss. I don't know how that's gonna be, how that's gonna go. And unfortunately, it seems after this season, Emily Bet Ricard is done. I am not happy <laughs> with that. Like, I'm so upset. Honestly, when I first heard it, it was worse, but, like, I don't understand. Like, she has, there's only ten episodes next season. Like, the only thing I can think of is that something else is coming up, and she just doesn't want to miss the opportunity. And seeing as it's the last season, it's not a huge, in a certain aspect, it's not a huge deal that she's not here for this one, because it's not like she leaves, like, I guess in the middle of the series or whatever, and... This character is gone for the rest of the show. But it's also kind of big because it's the last season. <sighs> I don't know. It just... It just seems a weird time to go. Like, right before it's last it's last season. And the last season's, like, less, a little less than half what it normally is. I don't know. Uh, assumption is that Emily's the one that's going to be moving... Or not, uh, Felicity is going to be the one that's moving to the, the lodge or whatever, the cabin in the that they showed us in the in the flash forward episode. Um, while Oliver's going to stay in the city, maybe. Apparently, and he's not going to be probably visiting the lodge or the cabin too long, whatever, whatever it's called, too often. Maybe like the last episode of the of, of next season, just because I know Emily's not going to be in it, so he couldn't see her so chances are he wouldn't be going to be I don't know chances are he's not going to be there at this point um but yeah last season this is the last season for Emily uh, let's just start the episode you can stay here with us buddy you don't want to do that Dang. Where the hell is Shadowfing? Who are you? I blast Iron. Whoa! <laughs> Whoa, what the heck? Is there a can Alright, canary. Are you sure that you are okay now that you know that your sister's evil and tried to kill you? Too soon? Need to focus on finding her and the 
tide circle and stopping whatever they have planned. So lucky for you, your wife is incredibly resourceful. And it's not weird that she hasn't found the buyer herself with the resources of the Night Circle at her disposal. Okay, well, not to toot my own horn, but Emiko is more of the karate kid, Hilary Swank version, and I am more of the Mr. Robot version, but prettier. Don't you take it easy for me, please. Oh, who, me? Mm -hmm. Um, you know what, I really wish I could, but I have a really intense Netflix binge that I have scheduled way back, and I also am going to eat everything in the fridge, so it's gonna get pretty crazy in here. Precious cargo. <laughs> I think we finally lost the son of- What's going on? Oh. Is that the Archer helmet thing? Spoke too soon. Dinah gave us an order. I don't work for Dinah. This is not gonna go well. Dude, your tracking thing can't find them like that? We're clear. I guess it's still a work in progress. I haven't had a problem in 22 years. Well, it looks like you have a problem now. <laughs> Thanks for playing. And yeah, now she's kind of killing. I mean, she didn't do it, but... Sandrine is actually part of a case Laurel and I have been working for the last few months. A case which is now non-existent thanks to this last little stunt. So she's using her DNA. Because everybody turned their back, back on her. Jesus. Clever. Oliver, I found something. Nothing. Good outfit. Okay, good. Well. You think an arrow is gonna stop me? I think a drank arrow will. <laughs> Do you know him? He's one of the long blonders. What are they doing? Oh yeah, he was in prison at this time. Don't hang up. And I mean that. Literally. You will not be able to exit my window. You really can't take a hint, can you? Look, I know that Emiko killed Gustavo Hernandez. Look, I'm really sorry if you thought we had a real friendship, but it was all just an act. Oh whatever. But don't you dare try and stop me. Liar! Gotta be ten million dollars worth of diamonds. Too bad it doesn't belong to you. And what? Are you gonna stop us? Oh, and it's too bad that you don't have your cry anymore. Whoa, whoa, whoa. what? But I still have mine. What? what? Oh, and feel free to. Well, this is different. This is well. Diamonds. Or Laurel and Sarah fight. Ah! I mean, it's not the her Laurel, but still, it's weird. And what was that device? I modified OG Laurel's old collar. Same tech, new look. It's impressive. Felicity, we are. Why don't you give Dino one? Work with SCPD. Please remember, it doesn't mean any vigilante gets a free pass. Everything that has happened since she has been fired is on her. No. I think you're being hard on her because you feel guilty, and I think you need to drop the blinders. No, I think. Well, he's actually right. This is Laurel's new gal pal. Didn't help that she had nobody backing her up. She felt cornered. What did you expect her to do? Since our Diaz days, I've met some new friends. Longbow hunters? Some very powerful friends who pay very well for my destructive services. So you're a terrorist for hire. And I could use someone like you. Oh. I just want to make sure that you're the same ruthless she is not. tyrant I once knew. I wouldn't be here if I wasn't. Come a long way from the IT girl secretly crushing on Oliver Queen. Apparently it wasn't much of a secret. Everybody knew. Zero poker face. <laughs> I was never, you know, were you flirting with me all those times you said I was cute? Why? Were you into it? Of course, it's you. <laughs> oh, I missed you. I miss you too. Thank you for coming. <laughs> Thank you, Sarah. Where are they? They played us. They keep signatures. That is devious and impressive. <laughs> oh. We're just lucky she's rusty and messed up. Yeah. Maybe it's not luck at all. I mean, Black Siren's a lethal, unforgiving killer. It's rare she fails, even rarer she doesn't do the job herself. But she's just on this path, and she doesn't know how to get off of it. Do you know how many times in my life I could have gone down the same path, including killing Laurel? And you had people to back you up. Yeah, you didn't, because you had us. 
Is this a trap for her because she knows she didn't kill them? Oh! You. Don't look surprised. Your friend's suit is basically a giant tracker. Oh, for the love of God, would you give it up already? This is who I am. Do you not see that? Who I see is someone that I believe in and someone that I really care about. What do you want? I want you to get out of my way. I guess if you're okay with that device killing people, you may as well start the race. I changed my mind. The deal's off. I kind of expected. Good thing I had a backup plan. Uh oh. Oh! This is so cool. All three canaries. <laughs> I mean, it's not like we haven't seen Sarah, but it's still cool seeing them all together. Wait, hold on. Are we killing these people? Are they dead? God dang it. This close. <laughs> now that Laurel Lance upstanding citizen is back. But I mean everything can go back to normal. Actually it can't. Say what now? It's time for me to go home now. Home? Is an Earth 2 home? Yeah. Someone in similar shoes told me if I wanted to be one of the good guys that I needed to right my wrongs. And the only way to do that is to go back to where it all started. Well, that's frustrating. Yeah. Uh, huh. Yeah, you're pregnant. I think I deserve two of these. I mean, come on, I worked really hard, so there. Cheers to me. Apparently criminals don't care how badly I need a girl tonight. I have something for you. Canary? From one canary to another. The watch? Sarah, I wanted you to have this. I mean, Sarah can have one too. I can adjust it for you. Oh man. It's Laurel's Black Canary costume. Yeah. Yeah, I thought you could use it here, but you know, maybe Earth 2 needs a Black Canary. <sighs> After we stopped her from going on a killing spree, hmm? Diana and Sarah. Hmm? And I, yeah. Hmm? <laughs> we did it. Hmm. Super easy. It was like Charlie's Angels without the feathered hair and casual sexism. Well, I'm here now, so I'll take care of you. Well, you can start with the foot rub. <laughs> What is the armor? What's the armor? Oh! Dinah? I mean Laurel? Hey! Give this to Felicity. Yeah. Good idea. You look so much like her. And you may not be a canary. And you still have a long way to go to prove that you're a hero. Take it from someone who knows how hard it can be. And don't screw it up. Huh. Well, that kind of sucks that Laurel's going back to Earth 2. Hey, come on. I guess we had her for two seasons, two and a half. I mean, like first one and a half. Well, a good chunk of the time she was here, she was bad, and she came back to our side. And in this episode, and with everybody going against her, she just felt, you know, completely alone. So she just decided to go back to how she was before, even though she. Kind of wasn't. She was still definitely not 100%, you know, killer Laurel that she was before. 
but it's fine to me. I mean, I really enjoyed having this character here. And I've liked what they've done with her. And that she's not, she's not, you know, um, like even though she was, well, even though she's on our side now, she's not, you know, the Laurel that we had before. Like, you know, our Laurel, she's still got that bite to her. And it's like, again, it's like the, it's the last season, next season is the last season, so it's like, she, if she's not going to be here, it's like two people, I keep saying like, I'm sorry. That's two people that we're not going to have, have on the very last season. It would have been cool to have both of them. Still upset about Felicity being there. I, was, I did not know Sarah was gonna be back. That was that was awesome. I didn't. It's cra It's weird. I haven't. I mean, we technically kind of saw them in the same room. Not technically. We did see them in the same room last season, the last episode, um, in the hospital. But it was very short. They didn't really have show that much interaction. This one was much more involved. Um, Sarah was trying to help bring Laurel back from the edge where she was at, but you know. Felicity kind of, well, it was all of them, but Felicity was definitely, <clears throat> at the end, was the one that helped bridge that more. The other two just kind of um, solidified it, especially whenever, what's her face, uh, Shadow Thief um, came in to try to take him out from behind. But it was really cool, and I, I didn't know why she, like, she suddenly had that, the, the Canary Watch, too. That was cool. Um, I, just, I don't know, okay, speaking of which, like, Sarah gave it to to Dinah, which is cool. I was like, I was saying like, earlier on, whenever they first showed that, like, why couldn't they? Why don't they give that to Dinah? And they, you know, Sarah did. She said she wanted her to have it, but I mean, why can't they both have one? Like, she can give this one to Dinah for now, and then they can make Sarah another one. But she's still kind of. I mean, she doesn't need it, but it'd be cool to have a cry, you know, considering she's a white canary. She's a canary. She's a white canary. So, I mean, I don't know. It'd be a really nice extra weapon to have, you know? Not cumbersome either. Interesting that they had it on the watch, on a, on a watch instead of, like, the collar that um, that our Laurel had. Uh, speaking of, again, I'm going back. I'm jumping, you know, back and forth a lot. I'm sorry. But canary, or Laurel... Earth 2 Laurel does leave. She goes back to her Earth, but she comes back in the future, which is cool, even though we're not going to see her anymore from now on, though. <laughs> well, unless they show her more in Flash Forwards. But I don't know if they will. But knowing that she's not going to be here in the present up until, until later on, which, you know, we won't be there, be there because one of the show's ending, and two, I don't think it would go, it would go on to, you know, be full on in the future anyway. Unless they made a completely new series, which I wouldn't be too upset about if we had Roy and Laurel and Felicity, which I don't think we would because Emily's quitting anyway, so I don't think she'd want to come back for another show like this. I don't know. And I didn't think that the Archer Helmet was going to be operational so soon. I was like, like, is it just one helmet? Is it just one guy right now? And that seems to be a little finicky, that device thing. Not fin I, I don't know. I feel like with what it can do, it should be able to work a lot better than it did or I guess a little better than it did I don't know cuz I mean for I me mean, for one it apparently did a lot like they've taken out a bunch of bases and fortunately they've killed a lot of the canaries which is ugh, that's such a bull but so it's worked to that extent but whenever whenever she they're like kinda not sort of not really sneaking up behind them but when they are behind him he, you know he just passes them up how could it not have sensed that he was like he was like right next to them? How could it? Why didn't it alert him that they were right behind him? Because it did it before, like right before they left. It alerted that it alerted him that him or her. It's got the bulky outfit, so I can't really tell. It could be so bulky that it's covering the the, the body enough to where you can't tell what's a man or, or a woman. So I don't know. But um, the whoever's tracking the vigilantes, the the, the canaries. You know, when he was farther away, it just like it pinged that they were behind him. They they left before, but I mean, like, okay, so what? Can't like, obviously it's writing. You know, they're they're for you know they they don't find our people and kill them right then and there. <clears throat> and this guy, speaking of which, this is it the armor or is it just this guy's freaking massive? Because she was you know hitting him and he was barely moving. And I granted, whether you have armor or not, it, you would still be 
budged, even if it didn't hurt you. You would still be budged by the, by the force, you would think. But he just kind of tanked it. I don't know. I'm not sure what they're making this guy out to be. But it's it was cool and kind of sad to see the Black Canary outfit, the Laurel's Black Canary outfit. Um, haven't seen that in a Well, I guess it's season six, right? Yeah, it was last season that we saw it. <clears throat> a little in the beginning, kind of between the middle and the beginning. Um, but the fact that she was giving it to, uh, that they're giving it to Laurel, or to Laurel, it's, it's fitting, but it, I don't know, I kind of like her outfit, I kind of, I mean, but then again, and on Earth 2, her outfit's associated with, you know, not good things, <laughs> um, because she was working with Zoom there, and they know that, you know, she was one of, he was one of her, she was one of his generals, I think, so, yeah, I guess it makes sense. It's interesting how she's using the wig again. She wasn't using it as black as black siren. I don't know why she would necessarily need it because she's wearing a mask now. It's a little bit different. I don't know. <clears throat> I'm not a huge fan of the wig. At least not that wig. It was it's it's not a great wig. <laughs> but I did kind of miss seeing uh Katie Cassidy in that outfit. That was really, it's really cool seeing her back in the Black Canary outfit. Even though it's not our Laurel, it's, it's not the same, but it, it's the same still. So it's the same actress. So, but <clears throat> for a second, whenever um they came in contact with the uh, the the shield guy for the one the, the one of the one of the longbow hunters, Oliver didn't recognize him for a split second. I was like, wait, what? Why don't you recognize? And then I remembered he was in prison at the time. So yeah, it made sense, but it tripped me up for a split second. But that like dude freaking like. Jesus, I know he's strong and everything, and can take a hit, but that dude took an arrow in the back, and it was just like, what, you think that could hurt me? Granted, it was a trink arrow, so knocked him out afterwards, but he didn't, it didn't seem to bother him apart from the trink. <laughs> you know, the actual arrow piercing his back is just like, excuse me, why did you do that? It didn't seem to hurt him at all. I don't know. What is that guy? <laughs> but yeah, so... Now we know for sure that Dante is the one that, you know, had her mom killed. Um, he framed, not framed, sorry, he said he hired this guy to kill Emiko's mom, basically to, to cut her ties so she has nothing to holding her, holding her down to be their leader, or to join them at first. I'm not sure if he had planned for her to be the leader, but, you know, now she, it led, it's led to her being the leader of the Knight's Circle. For, again, for a split second, I just completely blanked. I'm like, why would you kill Emiko's mom? You didn't know her? That you think you just saw her and you feel her figure she had potential for, for some reason? I don't know why I thought that. He, I, I forgot that Emiko's mom wasn't killed when she was a kid. I don't know why I thought that. Um, she still had her mom. I, she still had her mom when Robert was alive. Like right, like um, she was still alive whenever he was getting ready to leave on the on the gambit, on the Queen's Gambit. So. I don't know how. I don't know when she died. They said she said like a year from now, right? Is that what happened? Was it a year ago from or from whenever we first met her? Or was it longer? Either way, um, Dante had her had her killed. Now, <clears throat> if it was a year ago, has she has she been? Was she a leader from then on? Like did, since she had nothing holding her down, she decided to become the or she went up to be the leader, or was she a leader before her mom was killed? I don't, maybe not, because that's, you know, a family member that's kind of holding her down from, I guess, fully investing in the in the night Circle. I'm not entirely sure. I don't know how, I'm not sure the reason, like, I'm not sure the point from when she became the leader, like, what the timetable for that would be, and if that's why he killed her mom. I know he had, he's, manip he manip ugh, he's manipulating her some reason, or somehow. I don't know. I'm not. I'm just not quite sure of the reasoning why he killed her mom. I thought that okay. I thought Laurel's redemption arc was kind of going to be thrown out the window because in the, in the flash forward, Dinah was basically going on about not well. Dinah was saying how she had hadn't had her um, a friend's back in the past and she regretted it. And I thought that they were kind of like saying it, you know. They had to take her out, or they had to arrest her, or something, and then she realized that it was kind of that 
they should have had her back uh, before, so maybe the, she wouldn't have gone down this path. Or I don't, I don't, I don't know for sure. But I, don't, I wasn't sure what like the, the uh, ramifications was exactly, but I just figured like maybe it was just too late for her to help Laurel, and it just it didn't work out. So I figured they were throwing out the redemption arc because of that. But no, no that's not what happened. Um, I'm glad because I was getting, I was kind of frustrated if that was the case. I'm like, we spent all this time trying to redeem her. And then we're just gonna throw it out the window like nothing. And also, I just wouldn't want—I didn't want that to happen because I like—I've—I'd grown to like this Laurel a lot more than I, a lot than I, I, w I didn't expect to like her at all, just because of, you know, what happened, like, what she did, um, how she was she was helping, uh, blah, what's his name, Prometheus. She's helping him, and, um, before she was helping Zoom, and she was helping uh, Diaz. But part of the, like, the Prometheus part, she did seem a little hesitant to deal with, uh, uh, crap, Quentin, Jesus, I don't know what's wrong with me. But yeah, she was, she was kind of reluctant to lock him up, and then in this season, or in this last season, they were showing some, a lot of issues on her part, like she wasn't sure, excuse me, she wasn't sure, and she was kind of, you know, Forced to sort of kill Dinah's um, boyfriend, which kind of sucked because that definitely put that definitely messed up a lot of things. Um, last season was a very mixture of good and bad writing. I don't know. I just didn't expect her to like her as much as I have, and it just sucks that it, it sucks when I, that I, when I thought that they were trying to just scrap the whole redemption thing, and now it just sucks that she's leaving. So yeah, guys, that's pretty much it for this week's episode of Arrow. Hope you enjoyed it. If you want to check out the rest of our stuff, go and click the bubble right next to me. If you want to stick around for next week's episode, go ahead and click the subscribe button. And if you want to be notified whenever those videos come out, go and click the bell icon down below. Or you can just follow us on Twitter, link to that one description down below as well. Um, again, guys, thank you for watching, and hope to see you next week.